Good everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to briefly touch upon uh, the sales cloud Einstein today. Uh, so um, I just want you guys to understand the reason why we should be using sales cloud Einstein or if you should be using it. Um, so let me uh, give you a little bit of a story, right? Let's say, you know, I run a uh, brewing company, right? I brew, you know, different tasty beers, you know, Pilsner, Stouts, and Porters. And the vice president of my company uh, came to me and said, mate, we aren't making much sale this year for some reason, right? Uh, some of the other competitors, what we have, let's say New Zealand market, they are using artificial intelligence to drive the sales strategy. So do you think it's something better we can, uh, better for us to consider that route? So, you know, when I heard that, I said, mm, okay, uh, so let's build a team together. Let's see what we can, what we can come up with. So the few things we said, okay, we might need an app, which involves AI. Uh, we might need a, say, data scientist uh, or AI engineer for to find, you know, a data, clean the data, and and work out the prediction model and build the model for us, right? And then we said, we might have to, what if our, you know, the data grows, right, over the course of time. So we might have to handle the big data over the course of time. Yeah. So we need the right infrastructure to do that. Okay. So my team and I came up with this few options and we kind of decided, all right, okay. So if you have all of these stuffs in place, we can drive our sales pipeline. We can bring more customers compared to our competitors because that's what they have and leverage from an artificial intelligence perspective, which we don't have at this stage. So that's all good, right? I mean, if you can, this thing, this these options, right, works very well uh, if you're not using Salesforce, right? And these things works very well if you are a big, large enterprise. Let's say, you know, my brewery makes, say, for instance, uh, 10 million a year, right? Not very big firm, just and uh, we decided this all and and we kind of figured out this total cost for maintaining this right or building all of this will come close to around three million dollars let's say for the sake of argument okay so the total price is let's say three million uh i'm saying three million new zealand dollars right so us dollars will be around two point something right so <clears throat> excuse me so now, someone suggested to me, hey, you use sell, uh, Salesforce, right? Why don't you use the sales cloud Einstein? And I'm like, what is sales cloud Einstein? I never heard about it. All right. So the guy sat with me. So I'm telling all of this, you know, from a fictitious story perspective so you understand, right? I mean, I wish I, I, I run a brewery, but I do some of the brewing at home, so which is a different conversation altogether. If you wanted to know... Um, and know about brewing I, I might make a separate course on that because i do i've been brewing for past eight nine years now brewing my own beers right sorry digress all right okay so uh three million new zealand dollars that's the price now the guy said to me all right so the what all the functionality sales cloud einstein will do for is simple from a sales perspective right Obviously, they said that it will reduce the cost of the building all of this stuff. So it will be around a fifty dollar um, US dollar per license, right? And that's the sales cloud Einstein. Closer to that, um, it can do a lot of uh, data analysis for you, so you don't really have to uh, do. Um, you don't really have to, uh, you know, hire you know, two, three data scientists to do that stuff for it. It will do that. The data, data analysis for you. And now you must be thinking, why is data analysis important? Well, you might have a scenario, right? If you're a company, you might want to retain your existing customer, right? There might be scenario, right? Where your existing customer might decide to leave. So how do you know that whether your existing customer decides to leave? Right. So you need to. So that's where uh, this artificial intelligence comes into picture. It will tell you um, 
you know this client is a high risk client so you need to work uh to improve the relationship and retain the client right and another advantage of the sales cloud einstein there's something called the lead score the lead score uh will uh you using um it uses scoring technique um which will keep um your support person or your sales rep an indication whether this lead will have high chances of uh, converting into an opportunity right so they can focus their energy to work on that lead rather than the low scoring lead now when you look at the lead scoring right you will find the insight the the reason why the score has been calculated what all the features that contributed to it so that's will give you a very comprehensive information so let me write it down so i'm not doing any demo at this stage right so like i said this is more about the theory level you need to know at this stage demo perhaps we can do once we finish the entire theory maybe uh, just for reference, just so that you can play around with it. So that's something I will look forward to do, right? If I forget, please remind me that, because it's not really the expectation that from this AI course, because this is an AI associate course, it's a pretty basic course. So you should not get into the detail nitty gritty for this course. But I'm not discouraging you guys to do that, because if you if that's something you wanted to pursue to to know more uh, from a Salesforce perspective, then uh, please feel free to. You know get into the deep dive stuff there there are a lot of uh, articles out there uh, but that being said i'll try to cover at least some hands-on when we finish the course okay so lead score <coughs> uh, is important so this will help you help your sales rep to work on the leads which are important and help them convert uh, your um, leads to opportunities now opportunities also plays an important role here because uh, looking at your previous opportunities, you can pretty much make a forecast how your uh, forecasting model will be look like. That will uh, give you an indication how your sales funnel will look like or how, how much you, money you will be bringing up in the future. So that's kind of things you can pretty much do using Sales Cloud Einstein. Um, and also a couple of things you can also do. Uh, you can also, there's something in Salesforce which you can do, like for instance, um, if you wanted to bring the activities, right? Uh, say, for instance, you have an Outlook, right? And you have an, some kind of, say you have an appointment with XYZ, right? And that information can be brought into your sales cloud, sorry, into your, yeah, into your uh, sales cloud um, and link that information as an activity to, uh, to a person record. So that you can do that uh, and so this will ensure that you have you can sync it with microsoft 365 you can also do that with the google uh, platform so you can do a lot of stuff right you can bring all this information and those data you can you can use to you know build on the uh, prediction and models you can do a lot of things so i'm just giving you a very overview high level view and also you can also create a um smart context what what i mean by that is that uh from your email and events right if if the system, if, this, if, if the artificial intelligence thinks that, okay, this contact do not exist. Uh, so let's create, let's say you wanted to bring, let's say you wanted to integrate some of the email uh, and uh, to your Salesforce, and you also wanted to link it to the person account or, or regular contact, you can do that. And if the contact is not there, it will help you with the guide inf interface to say, hey, do you want to create a contact because it doesn't exist? And so that the activity can be linked to that person account or a contact. So that's all possible. Um, you can do that. Um, and so, the, yeah, and then like I said, right, the Einstein, Sales Cloud Einstein really helps the sales uh, rep or the, the people who actually works on the, sell, um, the sales cloud uh, to focus on really the things that really matters to them, that's the selling, and to work on improving a relationship with the customer, rather than worrying about the data entry and other nitty gritty stuff like you know uh, manually filling lots of lead and missing out the stuff. Uh, I, sales Cloud Einstein will help you with that, and will also identify the things which you should be focusing on, uh, so which can drive your <clears throat> you know the lead score. So that's all things that that that's. Uh, functionalities I believe is very important which help uh, to help our uh, sales rep to focus on the things that really matters to them 
So that being said, that's pretty much I wanted to, to cover in terms of um, some of the overview functionality of the Sales Cloud Einstein. Like I said, right, you don't really need to do hands-on, right? I mean, because if you're expecting me to do that and, and wondering why I'm not doing it, the reason why I just wanted to stick to the course for now. And once I finish the course, if you really wanted to learn the hands-on, we can do that at the end, right? I don't really want to digress from the real uh, uh, the content, which is important for you to know to clear the certification. And once that's done, yeah, we, we have time to talk about it. And I wanted to do finish this before Hanukkah. Um, so I don't really want to <clears throat> do much stuff uh, after Hanukkah till New Year. So I just wanted to get this stuff done. Um, so that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Adios.